Hey folks, welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where our precious hipster builder Max has arrived on his first day and has immediately begun sucking up to his superiors and attempting to sabotage his coworker Mian in order to climb the corporate ladder to become the greatest builder in the land. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at who we've met here. There's like one of these things has... Yeah, here we go. So, uh, we met Mian. She's our co-worker. We don't like her because she's all like serious and honest and hopeful and like naive. Yan is the president of the Commerce Guild in Sandrock. Known less for his building process, prowess and more for his tendency to just tell people... Oh, it's this again. Tell people what the, whatever he thinks they want to hear, getting him into trouble from time to time. So, like, you've got to use the right stick down to, like, scroll through this. And even the tiniest little bit left or right, and it moves the tab, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if there's... Okay, I can scroll with the mouse. All right, that's fine. So, Yan is the president of the Guild of Commerce at the moment. He seems to be our supervisor, so we're sucking up to him. Uh, we've got Pen, this, like, self-proclaimed protector of Sandrock. He's like a Chad tool that we don't like very much. We don't like very many people. Matilda seems fine. She is the, uh, she's a minister. She's like filling in for the mayor. And then we met Macchiato, a cat. Anyway, having registered Max's nail salon, it's time to head back to the Commerce Guild and once again brag to Yan that we did what he wanted super fast and that we're better than everyone. It is getting dark out, so we're running out of time here. Looks like there's lots of folks in town, but we don't have time to meet them yet. They're not that important either. Impressing Yan is what matters. Oh, hey! Did you get a message from Yan saying, Emergency, come now, as well? Uh, no. The emergency is probably that you're terrible and you're fired, though, so I hope that's the case. wonder what's the emergency? It's that you're terrible and you're fired. In fact, you shouldn't even go in. I'll tell him you showed up. No, you're... Okay, you're going in. All right, well. Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our lift, huh? Oh, look! Rocky! Oh, buddy, old pal! Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no! You came at the perfect time! Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. Oh, uh, of course, Yan. Th that sounds like something I could do much better than me, Yan. Mr. Rocky, as you're the client, it's very important that we service your needs as quickly and effectively as possible. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few, uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, uh, right? Absolutely, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job! Seems like it's a lot of pressure. I'm not sure you can handle it, man. Don't worry. We got this. And we have the Commerce Guild to support us, too. Come on, let's do it. I don't, what's this wee shit? Like, I'm gonna do it. You can just, you know, go... What do you even do? Like, polish your weird glasses? Fix up your apron buttons? I mean, just go do something like that. I'm gonna handle the important work, okay, man? See? They're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? I'm not your friend, buddy. <laughs> All right, yeah. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Great! Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, 
Each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. I mean, that's not necessary, man. I can make two crane lifts with my hands tied behind my back. And Mian probably needs to um, uh, clean her room. I, I hear she's kind of filthy. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to, and... Hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Great. Sounds wonderful, Rocky. I'm sure I'll be there and getting all the salvage I need while Mian is, you know, taking a nap. She's she's kind of a lazy person. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. When you're done, install it for me as well. She already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. <laughs> uh, my, uh, back was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use the furnace as well. Yeah, I knew all that, Mian. I don't need you to tell me that. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff happen on the left there. Um, clothing, accessories, and other items can be worn on the character screen. Let's take a look at that. We want to be as... Uh, let's see. So we've got a new top. The Seaside Casual T-Shirt. A colorful striped shirt that makes you feel sunny and cool. How does that compare to what we were wearing before? Oh, okay. So it has some it has some stats on it. So I guess we'll put it on for now. It does fit our. It, it does. I love the super high waisted shorts on this this guy. Like he, the 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 shorts come up to the, his mid thigh, way above the knee. But then the waist is super high too. All right, I do like it. Let's see. Let's get out of here. So it's like. It's 10.30. I'm not sure how, whether we need to rest in this game. Like, do we need to go to sleep? We've got our builder's license. Our recycler, which I don't know how it works. And then our axe and pick hammer. Uh, we do have plenty of stamina left. So, we're going to need to construct a crane lift. And for that, we're going to need bri bricks, wooden stick, thick rope, copper stick, and bearings. So I think we need to go find this location. Let's see, where's the map? So, power stones, there's all kinds of stuff in here that we've picked up. What is this? Okay, so the recycler allows the transformation of rubbish into usable ores and materials. I think we need to like place this somewhere and then use it. And then we're gonna need fuel as well. So like, let me come in here for a second. Maybe I can place this down. Yeah, it looks like I can place it down. Let's put it next to the workbench for now. So how do I do this? X to put down. Okay, and then interact. Um, so over here we have resources. Wood scrap. Dilapidated wood that can be made usable again by placing it in a recycle. Recycler. Stone scrap. Copper scrap. I know we needed copper... We needed, co we needed something copper here. We needed copper sticks. So if I put in, uh, I can't, it's sort of, I, it's sort of hard to see with all the, let me switch over to the mouse. Yeah, when we're in these interfaces, I think I switch to the mouse because the, the, like the, the tool tips make it hard to see things. So we don't actually have any copper scrap. Right now we have wood scrap. Um, so dregs. This drab pile of material seems to be lacking in any distinctive characteristics. Even recycling it wouldn't result in anything useful. Might be used as a makeshift substitute for fuel, however. Uh, this is guaranteed. We get two to three. Wood from wood scrap. Uh, we have a high chance, I think, and we, we could get three plus. And then wooden stick... A rod-shaped component made of wood with a smooth surface, strong and durable, and it's an important part for making various tools. We have a high chance of getting one. Okay. So, we can put in two and recycle. In the working queue, you can manage what you're building. This is how long it'll take to finish making all these items. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have and add more if you need to. 
So we have zero. What can we add in? When you add fuel, you can choose what kind of fuel you want to use. Some kinds of fuel last longer than others. So we have some of this dregs, which is really only good for fuel. Let's stick that in. That puts my fuel quant quantity at 550 and lasts for 10, times, 10, 10 minutes of working time. We also have power stones. I think we're going to hold on to those and wood, which we're trying to make right now. So let's just put in the dregs. Okay. So... What is this? Recycler. Stat changes. In Q, 1 to 2. Working Q, capacity increased. Uh, 2 by 3. 2 by 4. It looks like I can change this from a recycler to a civil recycler with these materials. I can't upgrade right now. So... Okay, it is working. That seems fine. I guess we go inside the workshop and see if there's a bed here. Here's the water tank. What is this? It's providing water to the recycler, I guess? Machines will run for two minutes. Water storage 24 of 300. Uses 0 0.60 per hour. Okay. So the recycler, I guess, is using water? Adjust. Inventory water, zero. Tank water, 24. Seems like we would need to maybe add some water here. Rashawn, machines will run for... Is that two hours and 19 minutes? I'm not sure. Let's go home. Okay, it's pretty empty. We have a bed. Now, what is, what is this? Home assessment board. Home stats. Home property, maxes nail salon, home level one. Furniture effects, health points, max damage, defense, stamina, luck. I have no pets. I have no helper. Okay. So. Wall lamp plus 58. So this is health, I guess. So yeah, we have, we have one wall lamp. We have three wall lamps and the bed. Let's see if we can place our builder license up. How does this work? Can I hang this on the wall? Uh, rotate. Sleeping early is good for your health. If you stay up past 3 a.m., you'll pass out. All right. So... Left trigger to rotate doesn't seem to work. I see. It's telling us where on the wall it's going to be. Guess we'll place it there. Okay. Now, does that change my home assessment? Doesn't look like it did much. All right, let's 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 grab some, some sleep. Long press, arrange bed, RT pickup, LT paint, Y sleep. Well, let's see. When furniture is placed in the backpack, it will revert to its original color and style. Okay, so the diable area is the headboard. The baseboard. Customized style, single bed. Okay, customized color. Um, we definitely need something... Oh, I don't have any requi- I don't have any- I don't have any paint. Alright, so we'll just sleep. And then we can choose to wake up. Alright, now we gotta head over. I need to sleep earlier tonight. Okay. Now we need to figure out where this place is. Uh-oh, what's, what's going on? All right, Jasmine delivered Hi. us some mail. I'm Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. Trudy's daughter, delivery girl. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. Oh, hey, I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sandrock. I mean... I only just got here, but I already know a lot too, but it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to let you like show off a little bit, little girl. So whatever, just show me around. Yeah, cool. The Jasmine Co. official Sandrock tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakmel Ranch. Okay, looks like this is 
technically a side quest. Let's get after it. Let's find out what she can tell, tell us about the uh, about the town here. And she got stuck. And then teleported. Okay. <laughs> Passengers, please look ahead and notice Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Mabel, and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff, too. Oh, you can see the Akmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back. But it sounds like... Moo... I think they sell stuff that you can use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Okay. We got a horse. What exactly is a yak mill? Is it, is it like a like a camel? Or a yak? Looks like it's closer to a yak here. Oh, and he's dropped a deuce. I think we'll leave that alone. Okay, I can't pet it or say hi. That's fine. Let's get back to the tour here. Something's going on over here. We'll deal with that later. So, I gather there's lots of, like, events that happen on predetermined dates and days and things. This is Martel's Oasis. Miss Martle was the first mayor of Sandrock, and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. Gosh, who would step in the water, Jasmine? Anyway, one day there's going to be a statue of me there instead, but I guess it's fine to leave hers there for now. In the middle, you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it, and now everybody says it all the time. Uh, let's see. It's got to be conserve water, right? I mean, he definitely wants to look like he's in the know, like he's smart. Even in front of this little girl, he wants to show off, so he'll pick the right answer. Conserve water, obviously. Wow, yeah, that's right. You got it. You must have done your homework. I give you a sticker, but I don't have any. Conserve water. That's our slogan. If we run out, um, I guess we have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan to help a lot of people remember. This concludes the Marto's Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall. I mean, I'm a builder, and I'm really important, so I need a lot of water for my work. So, like, you definitely need to conserve water so that I can have it for my work, because it's very important. Like, conservation, that's for other people, not for me. The first thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My mom works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? <laughs> no, it's not the same job. Your auntie uses the things that I build to upgrade other people's houses. I'm the source of all ingenuity and, cre and creation here. Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sandrock. RVO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Popo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Moving right along. Okay, lots of stuff to buy. A saloon where maybe we can meet people. Ooh, hello. We got some gold, soft, corrosion-resistant yellow metal. Uh, so how do I pick this up? Because it said, I, I know how to smash it, but it said something about picking this up and recycling it. <laughs> I guess we're gonna use the ax here. <laughs> Get some wooden boards. Can I smash other stuff? No, not right now, okay.
Where did she head to now? Up these stairs, it looks like? Okay. What is this? Old Town Lodge? Go to the church. Okay. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of an atheist because I don't really believe in all that nonsense. That's like kitty stuff. But like, I mean, I guess if like Yan and Matilda and all the important people are here, then I guess I'm going to have to come too. So forget what I just said, little girl. Don't tell anyone I said that. And this is the last stop on the tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the research center and the golden goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have some downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Co. tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? Uh, so-so. Oh, yeah. I guess Sand Rock is kind of different from a lot of places. But I think after you get used to it, you're really gonna love it. I think it's gonna love me. I don't know if I'll ever love this dump town, but whatever. Thanks for the tour, kid, I guess. Go, like, go deliver more mail. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center for business. Come join me if you get time. All right. Now, I did see... Yeah, there's some stuff here we can pick up. Throwing rocks? I don't know what that's good for, but let's grab it. And then we need to go, uh, we need to go get to the construction site. Yeah, so it looks like, it looks like it's, oh, it's over here. Yeah, you follow salvage. That's where we want to go. Okay. So there's, there's hours when things are open and whatnot. Okay. What is this? There was, yeah, there was an event there with Yan. And then where are we right now? There's a moisture farm, clinic, high noon area. We're at the temple. Where's that golden goose? She went over to the game center. She said if I go to the right, I'll find the golden goose. Whatever that is. This is the church dormitory. All right. What is this? Matilda's home. Okay, I need to go south, and then I'm going the wrong way here. Let's see. I wonder if there's fast travel in this game. There's that tool pen trudging up the stairs with his, like, lame life of being a protector. What is What does this city need? What does this town need protection from, anyway? Logan? I've seen mention of Logan, some sort of outlaw. No doubt, once I get my daggers built and, like, you know, practice a little bit, I'll surely be able to kick his ass and save the town from him. There's the saloon. So we don't have a vehicle or a mount. I guess at this point, we're just running everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, I'm headed in the right direction. Let's get over to the salvage thing, and let's get all that salvage before Mian can get, can get there. Because no doubt she would steal it all. Level 5 Hot Honey Barbecue Bumble Ant? Is that an enemy? Maybe. I haven't actually built my, uh... I haven't actually built my... My daggers yet, so I don't have a weapon right now. I guess, I guess I have the axe, right? What is sand rice? Is that food? Learned about sand rice. So where is that? The handbook is like designs. We want the encyclopedia. Yeah, items. Cooking. Sandberry. Cactus fruit. Sand rice. A desert specialty, a staple food in sand rock. It can grow in sandy soil and doesn't need much water to grow, making it a favorite for desert planters. 
So I'm guessing from planting and gather. Like cactus fruit, we can definitely eat. Effect on you, stamina plus two. Sandberry effect on you, stamina plus five. So we can't eat the sand rice, but there's probably a cooking mini game where we can cook it into some sort of more effective uh, food item. All right, so here's Eufala Salvage Co. I guess let's hop inside real quick. All right, here's Rocky. Chat, gift, spar, play critters, exit. Let's chat for a second. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I think there must have been 20 other mining companies out here all across the different ruins. You'd see lights on in about every direction late into the evening, but uh, now I guess it's just us. Okay. What is this? The salvage shop? Stone, Dinas, copper ore. Okay, we're gonna switch over. So, shop, shop's goals, they, he has 4,000 goals. Market price plus 4%. Is this mine? Do I have 100? So I can buy some of this stuff. The data disc, the tin ore, old parts, engine, copper scrap. Okay, we don't wanna, we don't wanna be buying and selling right now anyway, but I just wanted to check this out. All right, let's go out to the back. He told us we could get in here and we could salvage a bunch of stuff from back here, right? Let's get after that. Okay. So here's a yak thorn. We can hit that with the axe. What did that get us? Plant fibers and wood? Okay. Mixed junk pile. All right, let's go with the pick hammer then. Got some copper, some dregs, some rubber. This is taking a lot of work. On the shoulders of buried giants. Isn't this a data disc? I should talk to the local researcher about it. All right, let's check that out. Inventory mission. There are always new discoveries to be had in the ruins. Sometimes you need to consult an expert to learn more. You found a data disc. Go ask the local researcher what they're for. Talk to Ki or Chi, the researcher. Okay. Uh, you f you follow salvage has been waiting a long time to have two crane lifts built for easier access to the abandoned ruins near Paradise Lost. It's up to you to help them. You have the diagram for a crane lift constructed at your assembly station. If you're missing any recipes, try checking the Commerce Guild store. Rewards, relationship, gold, experience, reputation, and some shorts. All right. I think we're going to need more scrap here, so let's keep breaking this stuff up. Hey! We should look for some sand berries, too, because as far as I know, they're the only way we have to get back our stamina that we're burning through here. Uh, let me turn this off for the time being. Let's un... Cancel tracking with the right mouse button. Okay. Hey! Hey! <laughs> okay. So we got a bunch of scrap. Uh, we're kind of running low on stamina. So I'm going to head back now. We'll see how much we can do with what we've got. We should look for some berries. I don't know exactly what they look like. Here we go. This looks like berries to me. Yeah, let's pick some sand berries, get some stamina back. See any more on the way back? Not really. Okay. So we're back at the border of town. Avoid water pollution. Right. So I'm not supposed to step in the water. We got that message loud and clear. Uh, I'm trying to remember where my... Where's my workshop? Ranch... Wait, where was my... I can't remember how to get to my... My... My workshop. Fishing, ranch, wandering Y store, hammer time, blue moon go to. Is that my home? To the left? 
No. Where was my... Where was my workshop? Wasn't it on out here near here somewhere? I remember... I remember it was kind of near this. He pointed around. I think it's... Is it that over there? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Max's nail salon. There we go. Okay. So it's actually across the border. My home. It was listed there. I just didn't see it very well. Uh, let's check out what's in the mail. We saw that girl, Jasmine, gave us a... Uh, I think this. The tumbleweed standard. All right. Vocational vacancy vacated. Get ready to start seeing some fresh and friendly faces around Sandrock. The search for Sandrock's builder position has finally been filled. Uh, twice, in fact. Two builders. Mian and Max will soon be among us as citizens in our fine and fair collective. Mian is from Talski and considered to be one of the most promising young builders in her community. Blech. I'm just excited to have the opportunity to start building for real, she had to say on her pending arrival. Max is also an up-and-coming young builder from Highwind, but could not be reached for comment. Yan of the Commerce Guild has said that he's sorry to see Mason go, but he's excited about the future prospects of what an expanded staff could mean for Sandrock. In his own words, out with the old and in with the new, reported by Heidi. Uh, what else do we have? This space for rent. Logan still at large. Vandal, saboteur, water thief, and all-around perpetrator of bad behavior, bandit leader Logan and his sidekick Haru remain at large somewhere in the Ufala. His whereabouts remain a mystery, eluding even the sharpest minds in Sadrock law enforcement. Sharpest minds, right. Confident in the temporary nature of such a situation, Civil Corps Sheriff Justice had this to say. I mean, come on, man. The desert's big. Give us a break. <laughs> in case you forgot, it's almost the Day of Memories. Come one, come all to the fabulous event that has critics raving. During the Day of Memories Festival, Sand Rock is a city of lights, the true sapphire of the desert, the windy times. A testament to the tenacity of the people of Sand Rock, Porsche times. I would definitely go if I had time. I mean, probably. Business mogul Musa. Decorations are already being strewn about the lovely city of Sand Rock as preparations are approaching an apex. Folks from all over are flacking, flocking to come see the fabulous festivities offered during the Day of Memories, not least the iconic Chase of Memories. For those not in the know, the Chase of Memories is an old tradition dating back to the earliest days of Sandrock when it was just a small settlement, blooming out of the wreckage caused by the Age of Darkness. The festivities include a hide-and-seek type game where ghost hunters seek after ghosts who are disguising themselves as everyday objects. But don't let its jovial nature fool you. The Chase of Memories garners quite the competitive spirit. Just ask two-time champion of the event, Cooper. Truth be told, best thing you can do is stand between someone while they're scanning the area for ghosts, then you steal all the badges they'd be getting. It ain't exactly honest, but it's a doggy dog world. <laughs> they put the sick in because he got the he got the thing wrong. It's a dog eat dog world. Uh, Cooper narrowly clinched victory last year, some say disingenuously, by discovering a loophole in the game's rules. By claiming that he had an invisible wizard shield, Cooper became untaggable, allowing him to hoard up a great number of badges, thoroughly extinguishing the competition this year. The concept of invisible wizard shields has been banned by the committee. Residing over the chase of memories is expected this year's event is anyone's game. All right. We also have a letter from Ma. Reply. The total number of answerable letters will be displayed here. You can use a shortcut to quickly access your replies. When the letter is received, you can reply to. An icon will be displayed on the envelope. Every letter has an answering period and cannot be answered after this time. Select an answer to reply. You can also select the reply option later or reply later after the delay. Be careful not to pass the answering period. Okay. Max, I miss you. It's hard to believe only a few days have left past since you left for Sandrock. Your father and I are already missing you so much. Even when you were small, you were always wandering away from us. Sometimes I'd just let you walk and see how far you'd go, but I'd always get nervous before you did. So I guess we should have seen this coming. I'm so proud of you, and I know you're going to do great things at your new job. No one else jumped at the chance to take that contract because it would be tough, but you took it anyway. I know you'll be able to bring Telesis to Sandrock. I just wish you'd take care of yourself a bit better. Those quilts I folded for you are still sitting by the door. Do you want me to mail them to you? The desert really gets cold at night, I've heard. We're so happy you're independent now, but Sandrock can be dangerous, so please don't hesitate to ask us for help. Your father's doing well. He's converting your room into a garden for his bonsai trees. I think he doesn't want to admit it, but seeing your empty room made him kind of sad. He says he'll move the trees out and let you back in any time, so I hope you're not offended. Anyway, we've sent you some money for quilts. Let us know when you settle in and remember to take care of yourself. Love you lots, Ma. So we get 100 goals, 5 jerky, 
and the backers t-shirt. A special t-shirt for backers of a project that took place in the old world through something called Kickstarter. Despite its age, the shirt seems to have survived because of the quality of craftsmanship. The company must have been really thankful to their backers. I was not a backer for this game, but that's fine. We'll take the shirt anyway. Let's acquire all the goods. Okay, all the goods have become ours. We can reply here. Uh, yeah, mail me those quilts. <laughs> okay. We'll take anything we can get for free. And then we have a letter from the church. Dear Max, we have an important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in front of City Hall, 18 o'clock or 6 o'clock p.m. Don't be late now. Light be with you, Matilda. Okay. All right. That takes care of our mail. Um, let's check the recycler here. Did this make stuff for me? Collect. We got six wood and four dregs. All right. So the next thing we need to put in is all our copper scrap. Let's recycle that. Let's check our fuel. Um, remind me how this works. Yeah, let's put in all of that. Okay, so that's full. This is going to make some uh, some copper for us, I guess, for now. Now, in terms of what we can make here... Uh, need We don't have the recipe. We can make the wooden stick... Um, stone trough, thin thread, mini storage box, a bronze pick hammer. I'd like to make this. What do I need for this? Bronze bars, wooden stick, copper screw, sharpening stone, stone daggers. We need thin thread and we have some cactus spine. We don't have any daggers. So getting some stone daggers would be good. All right. So I need to make thin thread then. So there's furniture, resources, equipment, mission, all. So let's go to resources and make thin thread. And then let's go to get our stone daggers online. All right, we made an outstanding quality stone dagger. Item level four, level required four. Attack speed swift. So wait, do I not have the ability to equip those? How does that work? I'm, what am I? I'm level three, so I'm very close to another level. Once I hit level three. Does this have like an auto sort? I can't, you need to be level four to equip this. Okay, all right, that makes sense. So let's see, we know what we wanna make here. We wanna make the crane lift, right? So we need bricks, wooden sticks, thick rope, bearings, and copper sticks. We're working on copper sticks in the recycler right now. We don't have a processor, whatever that is. So do I want to do I want to work on this first or the processor first? Um we have the recycler. We probably need a furnace. I think mention was made of a furnace being needed. Crane lift basic awning. All right. Yeah, why don't we get to work on a furnace then? Yeah, this seems more doable. So, we need two stone troughs. Let's get to work on that. In fact, let's assemble this. So now we know what we need. Can I put this... Can I put this on my, like, on my right? Like, can I, can I tag this? Like, if I go to missions... Hmm. Bunch of new events. What is this item that's okay that's that thing got something new here can i is there any way to like pin pin this machine furnace see details this is what it can make a stone receptacle used for smelting those dirty old ores into sweet sweet bars okay what i'd like to do is pin the details of what i need here I don't see a way to do that other than just like looking at the assembly thing. So I think we, I don't, I don't think we can do that. All right. I need two stone troughs. Uh, RT gets me here. Retrieve all. What does that do? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Quartz, wooden stick, stone trough. All right, let's get start. Let's get started here. Let's make some stone troughs. Okay, I can make two. Let's quick build those. Then the next thing I need is the quartz. I have three of four. So how do I make how do I make quartz? From okay. Can I like go see okay from quarry or refinery or civil core store? Wooden stick from work table. I can make the wooden stick. I'm not sure where I got the quartz from. Uh, we need two wooden sticks. Let's get started on that. Okay, and then I need... I now I need quartz. This is making... This is recycling the copper scrap. How's my water doing? Still at 22. Okay. Um... So when it says quarry, what does that mean? Uh, this is my inventory. Map. Mission. Handbook. Social. Calendar. Knowledge. This is locked. Encyclopedia. Sandrock. Uh... Items? Yeah, let me look at items here for quartz. Raw materials. Okay, quartz. Relatively common mineral. Translucent but surprisingly hard. Can be used as a crafting material in various re recipes. Well, I'm not sure what it means by quarry. Here. Recycler, junk pile. Okay, so I think quarry just means smashing up rock. Because we get stone, and we picked up some of these along the way. So I think I need to go smash some stones. We'll get this furnace built. And that'll be getting us on our way towards making the copper sticks, maybe? Uh, let me eat this jerky. Stamina plus 10. Yeah, we'll eat all this jerky and these berries. And now I have this throwing rock. What does this do? Nothing much. Okay. I guess it's a ranged weapon. Let's bust some rocks up. What did we get there? Stone, Dew, and Dina, so no quartz. Uh, there's the quartz we need. Okay, so now we can finish up. It's almost 1800, so we need to get to the church for that event. We don't want to piss off the local religious nut jobs. Uh, let's place the stone trough and the quartz and the wooden sticks. Okay, so we've got a furnace now. Now, uh, we need to get to... We need to get to the church, right? Now, where does that... Does that show up in my mission list? That's completed. I don't want to do the data disk thing. Alright, so it's not really in here, as far as I can tell. There... It is on the calendar here. Okay, event reminder... Fireside meeting. It doesn't really tell me where. I, I know it was somewhere near the church. Um, Alright, let's check our mailbox one more time. We'll go over to red and look at letter from the church. Fireside meeting in front of City Hall. It's not at the church, it's City Hall. Okay. So, if I gotta go to the City Hall... um, It's right here. Can I, can I place like a... Mark. Now, does that show up? It does. Okay. So now I know where to go. All right. So a pretty decent day. We got a tour of the town. We got some scrap. We kind of figured out how the recycler built. We, we, we built our forge. And we've got this meeting in front of City Hall at 6 p.m. So let's get over here and get ready for this. And then I think we'll call it a day. All right. That's going to be the episode, folks. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hoping you Hope you're enjoying this playthrough. Um, <clears throat> not quite sure how I feel about the game yet. Seems like it's got a lot of systems and a lot of depth. Um, I'm not quite sure what the story is going to be here. But uh, I, need to, I need to quit before this event starts. So that's going to be it for this time. Thanks, as always, for watching. 
and we'll see you next time. Take care.